every minute spent on deploying Kubernetes clusters configuration is not spent on shipping new features, optimizing customer experiences, and developing competitive AI ML capabilities. Hi, I'm Kapil Anandani, a technical marketing engineer here at Nutanix, bringing you another video to show how Nutanix Kubernetes platform, NKP, makes it easy to deploy consistent Kubernetes production-ready clusters on any cloud providers easily in just a few minutes. Let's log in as the platform engineer to the NKP management cluster console. Today, we are helping a team of developers from Bangalore, India to get set up with their new project. First things first, let's create a workspace where the team can collaborate. Workspaces are a way of grouping Kubernetes clusters together and apply role-based access control. To learn more on workspaces, do check out earlier video in this playlist. Adding some labels here will make it super easy to filter and organize our clusters later. After creating the workspace, let's click on Actions at the top right to add a cluster. Now we have got three options. Use the simple UI workflow, go with the YAML manifest if you're feeling fancy, or attach an existing cluster. Let's keep it simple and use the UI for this deployment. Selecting the Create cluster will prompt you to add a provider if not already created. NKP supports multiple infrastructure providers out of the box and can also run on bare metal. As part of this demo, we will add Nutanix Prism Central as the infrastructure provider. Once the Prism Central infrastructure provider is added, let's create that new cluster. You may want to add the labels again and if needed, you can add the public key of your system from where you may need SSH access to this cluster nodes, making it secure and valid. Every Kubernetes cluster needs at least two types of node pools. The configuration parameters is pretty straightforward for both. You may want to use Prism Central projects to enforce virtualization quotas and role-based access control. Next, you will select the target AOS cluster on which the nodes will be deployed. NKP supports both VLAN and VPC networking for Kubernetes cluster creation and the network you require must be present in the backend infrastructure provider. When it comes to images, you can either use Rocky Linux image provided out of the box or use Ubuntu or your own hardened image. The choice is yours. You may want to assign Prism Central categories and use Nutanix Flow Network Security to create those policies. For every Kubernetes cluster, you reserve minimum of two IP addresses. One for the virtual IP assigned to the Kubernetes control plane API within the same subnet as the control plane nodes. And second for the ingress service assigned to the Metal LB for load balancing purpose, which must be in the same subnet as worker nodes. For production environments, you can deploy highly available control planes with three or five nodes. Worker nodes are where you run your applications, inherits most of the configuration values from the control plane section. If you got applications with unpredictable demands, just check the auto scaling box and NKP handles rest like a boss. When deploying NKP clusters on Nutanix provider, we get persistent storage out of the box. You can specify your image registry details where NKP will pull the container images from and that's it. Just hit the create and grab that coffee while the cluster API is doing all the heavy lifting for you. Once the cluster is created, it's ready to go with the developers to use it and they can use the cube config file which will have RBAC built into it. And there you have it. With NKP, you can deploy production ready clusters in minutes, not hours. No more configuration headaches or version mismatches just consistent, reliable Kubernetes deployments across any cloud. Start simplifying your container management today. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome content.